so thank you and uh, today i am going to sp- uh, speak about the financial iq so as like anikita was saying the back story right so i would like before knowing about the financial iq i would like to take you a little back about the history of taxes and the power of corporations okay from this book uh, rich dad poor dad so i must say it's a situational topic because we had a budget uh, very recently right so um, i think if you have read that book uh, from robert kiyosaki about the uh, power of taxes he he says like in 18th century we, we didn't have any taxes there was no tax system right but uh, it was there only when it, there was war and uh, they had to fund the war right so uh, uh, afterwards uh, after the 18th century slowly we have heard, heard the story right robin hood robin hood what does robin hood do he takes all the money from the rich and gives it to the poor correct so y- using this logic in mind right the government actually uh, implemented taxes on the rich people okay because uh, it, it took the majority of the voting from the middle class and poor saying we'll punish the rich and take the tax by taking the tax so everybody voted and uh, that's how tax came into picture right but slowly like once the government started getting money from this uh, people so uh, this money has to be spent appropriately from the in the government the bureaucrats right and money also was good flowing in so it slowly came down to the middle class as well and it actually trickled down from there also right so the rich actually saw an opportunity here okay so how to save taxes right uh, so you have heard of this sailing ship right that's where the power of corporations came into picture so there is a ship okay it's a, like it's on, it's on a voyage voyage and uh, let's take uh, the rich right they are investing money on this voyage and uh, for all the crew members also let's say they are going for some treasure uh, treasure right or to find for treasures so if there is any okay if this voyage if the ship is gone in between the rich people are uh, not much affected the impact is little less okay because they use these corporations to save tax right and uh, whenever this budget or any tax loss come into picture it's always a war between haves and have nots okay because uh, okay the rich thinks uh, we are lazy and we think the rich have money they have to pay taxes why we have to pay i am sure everybody are facing this tax problems right so as and as and when your income increases so because these rich people because they have money they have the power they can control the laws they can control the government they can do whatever because they have power so that's when like rich dad used to tell robert right you have to make money work for you then only you can have the power and they can you can control the power at the same time the educated dad used to tell uh, robert okay why do you study well okay get uh, get a job in a good corporation right when you get a good uh, a good corporation and climb the corporate ladder that's what you have to do that's what the educated dad was telling robert but the rich dad used to tell okay, why don't you own that ladder right so owning that ladder means owning that corporation okay so that is the power of corporation what it can do so when all these things were happening robert was like uh, it didn't make so much sense but after he grew in many was 20s when he started working whatever the rich dad service was making a lot of sense because xerox as a sales person uh, he used he also started his own uh, a small venture parallelly right he was working as a, uh, like very brilliantly at xerox uh, selling so many uh, sales uh, machines and he was like one of the top uh, one performers in xerox but that uh, his friends uh, like his colleagues used to think whatever commissions he used to make he used to spend it but what robert was doing was he was investing it on his own venture okay that's what made him like in within 3 years of time he was making more money from his venture than his uh, job and that's how he was able to use the corporation right so this fi- coming now to the actual point financial iq what robert tells right you need to have four things okay you need to learn four things what are those four things first is accounting okay knowing financial being financially literate learning to know how the financial statements work right Uh, that is more of the left side, left part of the brain. Second thing is investing. Okay, how to? Does, you need to know the science of money making money rather than me working for money, right? That is the right, right side of the brain. It's a creative part of the brain. Third thing is understanding markets. Okay, supply and demand. We know we know that, right? And fourth thing is understanding the law. Okay, so how you can utilize the corporation? So financial IQ has four things. One is accounting, investing, understanding markets, and knowing the law, right? so how you can use this corporation i just share a small picture before i end i hope uh, you are able to see this so this is the corporation income statement this is a personal income statement this is a personal balance sheet right so you can see how the assets are flowing through the income and towards your, uh, through the corporation and how expenses are going right okay so if you want to know more about this probably you can read this uh, how you can uh, save taxes through this power of corporation it's a big uh, 
one and uh, it, it's a, there's a lot of thin lines to understand so i had to ask a lot of doubts with kiran and other financial coaches we have at pim to understand so because it's not so easy to apply directly right there's a chance of making mistake it's when it's with money so to understand the picture go through this uh, book uh, i mean this chapter and lesson and if you have any doubts you can reach out to us uh, offline or uh, anyone here so thank you kiran for uh, the opportunity thank you Amazing, Karthik. Thank you so much for sharing. I think this is the most, sharing, I think this is the most uh, important topic uh, to share. So-